All right, my friends, you know what time it is because we are back here in our Sims 4 La Purgatory Challenge, where we are going to be mixing and matching all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And this time we have a maned wolf, a maned wolf. I actually don't think we have ever in, in the many, many years we have been doing these experiments, had a maned wolf as one of our genetic contributions to our crossbreed mixes. And that is a dramatic oversight considering how amazing it turns out in these amazing, actually. Oh, I could totally make a pun out of that. <laughs> Considering how amazing these wolves happen to be, even though they're not wolves, they're a canine, yes, but they are not actually related to wolves, nor are they related to foxes. They are the tallest canine on the planet, and they also eat, get this, apples. Apples! 50% or more of their diet is wolf apples, which grow in the lands of South America where they live, particularly around Brazil. And you know who else happens to live in South America? And you know who else happens to be one of the <clears throat> amazing animals that we have added to our planet zoo zoos? Yeah. Yeah, guys. It's the llama! The llama! With the absolutely amazing Kalinos custom content, we are indeed able to welcome in our lovely llama. Featured in our Sims 4 adventures in the ill-fated wild berry. <laughs> Um, yeah, the really ill-fated Wildberry adventures, which I totally plan on like kicking off again when I can get a certain a certain ghost hunter to revive Eliza. <laughs> Our wild thornberry adventures really ended uh, like very, very abruptly. But we'll not dwell on that. One day she will be reunited with her like lemur and her llama. And for now, we are going to appreciate the fact that one of you has actually brought a llama to the show and tell in our laboratory. And that's actually Jeliana. Let's see, Jeliana Bean. Jeliana Bean, thank you so much for your contributions to the laboratory. I also think that your suggestion of mixing a pit bull with a bunny or other small creatures, or maybe a mass stiff or a Doberman pincer like all of those would be really fun I do not know why we have not done more pit bulls where are my notes uh, all right all of you better be breaking out your mm, safety goggles putting on your lab coats scrubbing those petri dishes clean so that hopefully we don't have you know contamination from our dragons again <sighs> one of these days we're going to get our health and safety standards like up but until then we are going to go ahead and add to our little list here that's literally right in front of me oh i should take a picture of this and like show it to you guys on my instagram that would be really funny or maybe like our, our community like section it's a huge list a huge list of crossbreed ideas uh but pitbull and bunny or mastiff or doberman all excellent ideas, uh, and I hope that you guys are getting some more ideas of what you would like to see a llama or the maned wolf mixed with. And in case you guys didn't know, one of the reasons that we have I like bread, and I like bread, I would love to do a crocodile and a Shiba Inu, but unfortunately we have to pick the quadrupeds that we have a uh, design based on, like they kind of have to be based on a, a dog or cat model because that's just how the weirdness of genetics works in The Sims 4, create a pet. Darn, there's not enough reptile love representation, but we'll, we'll discuss that another day. But in case you guys didn't know, the reason that we are adding in maned wolves right now is to celebrate the fact that the Planet Zoo Grasslands pack is going to be coming out and you better bet your bunches that we are going to be diving into that and learning all about the maned wolves and seeing them interact and play and develop and hopefully have like amazing little litters. They don't really live in packs, they, though they are monogamous, but the male and female usually have their own section until it's time to breed. And just seeing how they grow and seeing more facts about them and learning more about the lives that they live in South America. Uh, so that is why we're having some maned wolf hype. And then when I thought about my arch nemesis, the llama, Yes, yes, Jelana Bean, forgive me, but yes, I have to admit, llamas are indeed my arch nemesis and they also happen to live in South America, so I thought it would be a very good thing to go ahead and see what their crossbreeds might create. And if you guys need the llama story, let's just say they don't like me. This has been proven. This has been proven 
in the fact that I can be 30 feet away and there could be like 50 other people, a llama sees me in multiple locations. We've tried this in multiple different like zoos and areas where there are llamas and something about me sets them off. Maybe it's the fact my hair is so long, I don't know. Maybe I like insulted a llama's mother like in a past life, who knows? Uh, but Chips has actually been quite amused because he thought I was joking. And after like the third or fourth time a llama tried to spit on me when all I was doing was minding my own business at the back of a giant crowd, he also thinks it's weird. We don't know why. Llamas don't like me. But hopefully you, Jelania Bean, do like me. And wait a second, if I'm making a bunch of llama crossbreeds, does that mean I'm about to have a bunch of spitting maned wolf llama babies? Wow, I really didn't think that through. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this over with then. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and pull up our very first crossbreed baby. We're gonna have such a good time with... Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> okay! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, those eyes! What have we done? <laughs> Hi, Wolfheart. I hope you're having a good day. I'm glad that our previous adventures have brought you some delight. Um, you're gonna be stubborn, but friendly and independent. That's good to know. And we're gonna have to see what Wolfheart grows up into because they might take on the body type of the maned wolf or they might inherit some of the llama's features such as these really pointy ears or we'll have to roll a dice to see if they actually inherit the hooves. I'm really excited about that because th th we have no idea what's gonna pop out right now. Apparently a very frustrated little albino crossbreed, but maybe we'll have better luck with the next one. All right, let me pull up the name from our random generator. And as always, friends, if you want to become a one of these curious crossbreeds, all you need to do... <gasps> Hello, little wine! Hi, how are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> Alyssa, um, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a troublemaker who is a couch potato and friendly. So far, everybody's friendly. See, I love you too, Wolfart. I love you too. And Alyssa, you actually suggest doing a, a wolf and a lion and a Great Dane and a lion. Okay, like both of those sound really amazing. I don't know why I haven't done a Great Dane and a lion. Like, this is why I love all of you so much and the suggestions that you leave in our comments section because the creativity, the curiosity, the ideas and inspiration that you offer, oh, it makes me so proud. Oh, hello, little wine. Okay, I actually need to pull up the next name. I got distracted thinking about how proud of all of you I am. And then this is going to go ahead and be lost and found. So lost and found. Welcome, welcome. Uh, un like, <laughs> unfortunately, even though you're like, yeah, more animals to eat. Yeah, you're, well, I mean, actually, you're kind of aggressive and you're adventurous and you're loyal. Uh, you are going to be mostly herbivore. I think like 75% herbivore because like, the maned wolf, 50% wolf apples. Uh, Jelana bean, a llama. Unless they really like try to eat my hair or something. Primarily herbivores. And you are going to be an interesting one growing up because I think you may have gotten the wolf ears. The maned wolf ears, which I really feel like I should say like maned dog because they're not a wolf. But here we are. We'll just have to deal with the like odd the odd effects that the naming oh this is such a cool one that the naming taxonomy or whatever it's called happens to be and then we're gonna go ahead <gasps> be still my heart hi look at your little curved ears look at your lack of tail oh my gosh you guys welcome to Brittany Brittany Garen I absolutely love this one. Also, I love the idea of using the Latin names for some of the, the family trees to start creating some of the different crossbreed names. That's really smart. Unfortunately, you can't produce dairy, so we'll roll again. And you see, you are playful and smart, I called it, and very active. So I cannot wait to see how you grow up and if you're going to actually end up like inheriting the llama hooves. That might be a fantastic mix of everything. But let's go ahead and get the next one ready while I pull up. Oh my gosh, mint! <laughs> 
Okay, Min, I'm gonna have to like copy some of these ideas. Like Snow Fox and a Deer, Red Panda and a Mermaid Cat. You have got some fantastic- Oh, hello, Min! Wow, this is interesting. This seems to be a very dominant, uh, a very dominant feature among like this crossbreed. Cause we now are like three out of five have the llama fur or the llama coloring. And Mint, welcome, welcome. You cannot produce dairy, so we'll roll again. But you can be friendly, vocal, and playful. All fantastic traits, if you ask me. And I will copy down, like, Finnick Fox and Unicorn! How have we not done a Finnick Fox and a Unicorn? That, that is absolutely a travesty. We will definitely do that in the future. All right, thank you for all your ideas. I'll copy them down in a little bit. There's just so many of them, I'll need to write them down separately. And then our very last itty bitty is going to be <laughs> hang in there friends and we've got hello another one oh this one has a tail and this one has a little schmush face and this one has like little curved ears this is going to be very interesting to see with carlina carlina welcome welcome you are going to be uh, you also can't produce dairy so we'll roll again you are going to be aggressive, vocal, and hairy. So I think you are definitely going to be carving out some of your own territory. And you suggest having a phoenix and a fox crossbreed. I need to get my head back in the mythical game. I actually was just talking with our amazing patrons over on our Discord about possibly doing... Um, like some more wings of fire stuff because i've been telling my niece i will read that for years and i should probably actually just go ahead and do it so keep your eyes out for that but all right friends i hope you guys are ready it's time to grow up these little babies i like bread john bean with your maned wolf and llama jeans let us see what we have created and we will be rolling for only one extra trait i think yeah one extra trait which will be the potential of inheriting the hooves from their llama parent so wolfheart you're up first <gasps> that looks so much cooler than i was expecting look at the long floofy tail look at you okay wolfheart you definitely look like you happen to be um like llama and you just inherited the hooves so on our way down i'll see if i can snag oh he's gonna wear like a little pack that's so cute that's so cute and then i think i saw okay then these are actually the the two split like toes i don't really think they're called hooves if they're like that but i'm just gonna call them hooves for the sake of simplicity are indeed what the llama has i went ahead and zoomed in on llama feet before we began just to make sure and then can I, oh, let's do the llama hat. No, well, I want to see the ears. <laughs> I do want to see the ears. Oh, we need to do more things with Toothless. How did I forget we have Toothless? Like, I really need to get my head back in the dragon game. I haven't even seen the last of like, uh, the last of the How to Train Your Dragon movies yet. I might have to correct that. All right, Alyssa, you are up next, my dear. Let's go ahead and see if you're going to be just as fluffy. <gasps> What big ears you have! Oh, we need to do some more Maid Wolf mixes, friends. I need your suggestions. I need your ideas. And actually, Alyssa did happen to inherit those horns, or those hooves. Maybe we should do somebody with horns next time. That could be a lot of fun. I wonder, like, can we put a little, okay, that's kind of cute. Alyssa, do you want to wear a little, a little blanket? Okay, that's really actually kind of adorable. And then we'll go ahead and pick some good, good little hooves for her. That's so adorable. She looks like some little creature out of mythology who would actually be like really helpful and like lead you down from being lost on a cliffside. I am so happy with this. Lost and found, you're up next. Ooh, look at those ears. This is very clearly the maned wolf base with like no tail and the maned wolf like face and jaw structure. So let's see, did you inherit? You did not inherit the hooves, my friend. So lost and found, you definitely could probably like slip up into the Andes mountains and go ahead and maybe find, well, you need wolf apples to eat. So I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll figure out how to survive out there in the wild. You're very adventurous after all. All right, and then we have Brittany with the little tail, with the little ear beans, with the little nose. What are you gonna look like? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Brittany's such a great mix of the two. Look at this. We kind of have like the llama body-ish structure, but thinner. And then we have these gigantic ears that are actually the llama ears. But then we have the maned wolf face. This is so cool. And she did happen to actually inherit the hooves. Okay, Brittany, I did not see that coming. Like, she has a much smaller head compared to body ratio than I was expecting. Can we give her a cute little... Look at Brittany, a cute little... Like, oh, uh, what should I... Let's do this one. Cute little pack to wear as well. And there we go. She also has some hooves. Oh, come on. Don't these guys just look precious? I would absolutely keep a bunch of them around, like on my ranch or farm or something, and, and dress them up in cute little blankets and feed them lots of wolf apples. Minty, you are up next. I'm kind of intrigued to see where those eyes go. Oh. My. Gosh. Friends, this is why we do these genetic experiments. This is why we should never assume just because we're looking at a puppy that looks a certain way, we'll understand what it will grow into. Mint, you are glorious. And you did not inherit the hooves, my friend. But you are such a glorious creature. You might have to be part of like the crossbreed rumble where we select mint for like breeding against some of the other crossbreed creations. Cause this, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm never gonna get over that nose. It's like as skinny as a quill. I feel like I could just dip it in ink and like write with it. This is fantastic. All right, Carlina, you're up last. Also adorable. Shorter face than I think I've seen on a lot of them. I think you have the little llama ears. And... Oh, wow. You turned out to be a more or less perfect maned wolf with maybe a slightly larger face. And actually, Carlina did indeed inherit the hooves as well. So let me go ahead and put those on. Oh, this was such a fun adventure, you guys. All right, I'm very happy with this collection. And I have to say, even though I was like, oh, squishy, squishy, scoo over like Alyssa's face and her little hooves. And even though I was like, wow, lost and found, nice on you. Um, and then, you know, Brittany was really adorable too. I think Mint won the day. I, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> See, you never know where your curiosity will take you guys. So, if you would like to join us on these adventures and literally over 10,000 more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. Because if you do that, you know you're going to have a good time. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>